Hello, and welcome to the Thrive Mindset Podcast. I am so glad you are here with me. My name is Carrie Dale, and I am your host. I am an entrepreneur, author, podcaster, manifester, and motivator. And I am on a mission to empower you to create the life of your dreams. If you are looking to uplevel your life, relationships, finances, productivity, and success, you have come to the right place. I will share with you tools, resources, strategies, my failures, and my successes that have all helped me achieve the life of my dreams. It is my goal with this podcast to help you see your potential and empower you to create the life of your dreams. So let's get to it. Welcome back to the Thrive Mindset Podcast. I'm Carrie Dale, your host. Today's episode is a special one. It's just you and me, and we're going to talk about a topic that has been really weighing on my heart lately and is actually quite timely because of it being a full moon this past weekend. In fact, the timing really couldn't be more perfect. If you've been listening to me at all this last year, you most likely know how I feel about the full moon. You know that I believe that it's a time when you release and you renew and you let go of something. In fact, I love, love, love to have a full moon dinner with my girlfriends and really just talk and share what's going on in our lives and find a way to let go of something that's holding us back or that's not serving us anymore. And for me this past week, it was really letting go of change, I guess is the best way to say it. And what I mean is I've had some really, really big decisions in life that um, I will share later on in more detail. But for right now, let's just say that I've had to make some very big decisions in my life and in the direction that I'm going with with my real estate business, with Thrive, with with everything really. And it's funny because everyone is always so afraid of change, right? And why why is that? Why are we so afraid to change? Because change is really the only thing that's actually consistent in our life. Yet it's the hardest thing to accept and adapt to. And why is that? And I think it's because change challenges us, right? It pushes us out of our comfort zone and into that unknown. It makes us uncomfortable because we don't have complete control. Though we probably have more control than you think. We just don't have control of the the unknown. But the funny thing is, and the twist in all of this, is within all that discomfort, that lies our greatest opportunity to grow. It's in those moments of hard times that we, number one, get very, very clear on who we are because your true colors come out, like your true personality, your true values. They all show up in very distinct ways during change. And it's kind of funny because... I always have this fear of not being enough, right? We've talked about that a lot in the past. And what I'm finding in myself during this time of change is actually something I'm very proud of. And I'm proud to say that even in a challenging time that I am somebody who I'm proud to be. I'm grateful to see that the trueness that's coming out in me is somebody who is honest and who does right even even if it means that I I lose some. Because in the end, I'm the one who has to stand in front of people. I'm the one who has to account for my actions and Above all else, I want those around me to be able to look at me and say, she she was kind, she was honest, she was fair, she she didn't talk bad about anybody, she didn't she didn't take this opportunity to air grievances. She just rose above it. And that feels really darn good. 
but enough on me and my change. I want to really go back to how you can grow. And going back to the whole full moon thing, right? When I got together with with my girlfriends for our full moon dinner. It's a tradition that we hold dear and it's a time that we really do reflect and release and set intentions for the coming month. And this month, the theme of letting go really resonated. And it reminded me to make space for all the new opportunities and new growth. But to do that, we have to first let go of what's no longer serving us. So let's take a deeper dive into why change is necessary for you to grow. Well, first of all, it builds resilience, right? Every change, especially the challenging ones, especially those that really push you in an emotional way, those are the ones that build resilience. They are the ones that teach us that we can bounce back, that we can adapt, that we can find the strength in all the adversity. They are the ones that, like I said, make you who you are and, and show those, those true colors. But mostly they do teach you that you can survive, that you will be okay, that, that you are going to be more than okay. And what else, right? What else does embracing change help you grow with well you learn to adapt the part of change is right you can't always see what's coming at you you can't always um, prepare for every outcome so it forces you to learn and to grow and to adapt and it pushes you to acquire new skills and explore new perspectives and really be innovative in how you move forward, how you adapt. And it's funny because you you don't and you can't plan for that. I mean, you can plan, you in your mind, you can imagine all the things that are, and all the ways something's going to work, but it never truly goes that way. I know in my circumstances this past week that I hope for one outcome, uh, I got some of that, I didn't get others of it, I uh, had different things come at me in different directions than I even anticipated, but all of it, all of it is just reminded me that I need to be creative and I need to think about it differently and I... I need to do all that while remaining true to myself, but being flexible enough to ebb and flow, right? To to go with it, to adjust as needed. And also part of that learning and being adaptable was allowing myself to feel the emotion. And part of that change and growth for me, because I pride myself in being very controlled in my emotions and providing myself a very safe space in those emotions. And for example, I'm not, I'm not a big crier and I've found myself crying a lot this week and it coming in moments where I don't want it to happen, where I don't want others to see my sorrow and my sadness because the reality of it is the decisions I'm making and the things I'm doing are exciting and I'm proud and I'm I'm really looking forward to it. But part of that moving forward is again letting go of some past and with that becomes with that comes some sadness and goodbyes. And and it's it's been a really interesting week, specifically a week of adapting to those emotions and allowing them and learning from them and trusting them and, and being forgiving and kind to myself about them. And again, the the whole theme of this last topic of growth, right, and change being essential for that. The last part is letting go. And this brings me back to the full moon in our dinner and letting go is an act of trust. It's Trust in a journey, trust in ourselves, trust in the process of growth. So I'm going to ask you, what are you holding on to that's preventing you from moving forward? 
think about that for just a minute. Think about everything you've been dreaming of and everything you've been working towards and the, the things that you are manifesting. Is there something that is holding you back and preventing you to achieve all of that? Every one of us has it. Every one of us has a moment or a thing to release. And I would just encourage you to really identify what that is and take the time to let it go. Because when you do, the relief you feel on the other end, the release of that can be huge. It can be transformative and life-changing. And again, change is good. Change is really good. And let's talk about that. How, how can we embrace change? How can we harness this full moon energy and release and renew? I would say start with, with yourself. Start with some self-reflection. Spend time looking at yourself. Use the full moon as like a prompt to journal about what you need to release and where you need to grow. Like I said, I would really spend some time journaling this one because you may not even be clear what it is that's holding you back. But when you spend time writing and reflecting, you you'll often find that that the thing that needs to be released, the thing that needs to be let go will show itself to you. So trust that and trust the process and self-reflect. And then when you're working on embracing change, I would say set an intention, right? Post release, set a clear intention on where you're going. What do you want to invite into your life? How do you want to feel about it? What do you want to achieve? Get really, really crystal clear on where you're headed because you are letting go so that you can move forward, so that you can you can manifest every one of your dreams. You are you are doing this for the betterment of you. So say it out loud. Say what it is you want to do. Say where it is where you're going. Write it down. Be crystal, crystal clear and just put it out there because that is going to bring you one more step closer to achieving all that you want to achieve. And then, you know, I have my girlfriends. I have different groups of girlfriends. I have my husband. I have, I have really a large community to support me. And I would just tell you to lean into your community, lean into your friends, lean into those who support you, find your tribe, find those who will lift you up and be honest and truthful and point out where you're messing up, but also point out where you're doing good and, and just Let them know what it is you're letting go of and where you're headed so that they can help you. And lastly, celebrate. Celebrate the process. Change is a journey. It's not a sprint, right? So celebrate it every step of the way. Have, you know, if if it's not this month, do it next month. Have that full moon dinner and celebrate letting go. It feels good. It feels good to look back on that at the end of the month or every month and say, I let go of that. I finally let go of that. And it's not holding me back anymore. Celebrate the thing you checked off your to-do list. Celebrate the excitement you had in the day. Celebrate, celebrate the moments, big and little. Celebrate them. It keeps you going. It helps you continue to grow with change. And it's important. It's really, really important. Remember your energy and your emotion and your vibe and that you put out, that's what's going to come right back to you. So do you want to live a life of being stuck in the things that hold you back? Do you want to live a life of um, negativity No, you don't want any of those things. You want what you want. You want the life you've been dreaming of. And so you've got to get yourself in line with it. 
You have to be positive. You have to be excited. You need to remove the things in your life that are attracting the opposite of what you want. And how are you going to do this? You're going to self-reflect. You're going to set your intentions. You're going to have your support system and you're going to celebrate. And you're going to bring that vibration up and align all of you and all of your desires together. And it will happen. Good things happen. Change is hard. Change is never easy, but you will grow. You will become more of who you want to be and what is coming to you because you are going to align all of that with change. As I wrap up today, I just want to encourage you to look up at the night sky and find the moon. Let it remind you that it's okay to let go, to change and to grow. Because like the moon, our lives are in constant flux. So be like the moon. Let go, change and grow. I promise it'll be more transformative than you can even imagine. Thank you again for joining me today. I hope that this was helpful. I hope that you heard something that that gave you the courage to make the changes you need to make. And remember, I'm here for you. I'd love to hear how this community can help you. I invite you as always to like, subscribe, to follow, to join into the things that we're doing. uh, Our Dreams to Reality monthly group. It's a great support system for this type of thing. Just journaling, uh, gratitude journals, anything that you need help with, I invite you to reach out because this is, this is the thing I love to do. I love, I love helping others as I've helped myself. So I hope you have a great week and I'm looking forward to all the growth and change that's coming your way. And remember, I believe in you and you can manifest the life of your dreams. Thank you.